Hello everybody, I'm here coming to you fresh during the virus and I'm going to teach you how to make a sock monkey at home in the comfort of your own home with your own stuff. Usually we make these at school with whatever kids are around and some kids can do it real quick depending how much time they have on their hands and some kids take like a whole semester or a whole year <clears throat> not saying any names. So. All the monkeys are different. Your monkey's gonna look different, but they're all super, super cute and they're handmade, which is really great. And you get to keep your monkey and you get to name it. So I'm gonna go over the first thing that you're gonna need is supplies. And I'm gonna teach you how to thread your needle. That's the first thing we're gonna do. Before I get to that part, I want to say about the needle. You need to get a needle that has a very big eye in it which is where you're gonna put your thread. And I'm telling you, you shouldn't use regular thread. You should try to use embroidery thread. So that might be kind of hard to not have around your house, or maybe you do have it around your house, I don't know. I recommended finding some old friendship bracelets and unwinding them if you don't have embroidery thread. Because this will keep your sock monkey together better than like some wimpy old thread to make put buttons on, okay? You can see this guy's legs. He has embroidery thread. Now he's not too tight. We'll make ours a little bit neater than him, but you do need embroidery thread. If you can do it, get it and get a needle with a huge eye. That's the main thing you're gonna need. Otherwise, I think you have everything at home that you can find. Okay, let's talk about supplies. Okay, here we are. I'm telling you about supplies. Okay, you are going to need scissors. You're gonna need a needle with a big eye Remember that, try to get one with a big eye. There is some that are like quilting needles. So if you have maybe even a neighbor or a grandma or something, or somebody who does quilting or stitching, somebody might have a needle for you with a big eye. Okay, any kind of buttons are gonna do right now. Don't worry about even if they're matching, but if you can find some matching ones, that would be cool. Some old pants. Um, okay, embroidery thread. I've got a bunch because I have kids and they like to make those bracelets. Um, okay, and then you're gonna need socks. And the important thing about socks is you just need to make sure they're long. Okay, you have to make sure they have a butt or a heel that's outlined of a different color. And these aren't really the traditional ones. The traditional ones, sock monkeys are usually like with the red stripe, doesn't matter. You're gonna make whatever you have in your drawer. This is what I have. And this guy's gonna be a crazy monkey right here. But, and this is gonna be a smaller monkey because you can see it's shorter here. Try to have a long sock because then he'll actually have long legs. This'll be like a baby monkey. And a little heel mark, okay? That'll be his, his mouth, so you want that to be different, or her mouth, or whatever the case may be. Okay, that's all you need to make your very own sock monkey, okay? Gather up your stuff, and we will begin. 